Hey guys, in today's video, I want to share with you what every golfer can learn from Justin Thomas's, shall we say, less than stellar 2023. So stick around. When Justin Thomas burst into the golf scene, my first impression was he looked like a country club snob who would probably heckle you on the first tee for not having a polo sweater tied around your neck. And the more I watched him, I realized I was right. He would probably heckle you on the first tee, but you would love every minute of it. Because it turns out he's not some pretentious country club snob, but a genuinely good person with a great sense of humor. Now, full disclosure, I've never met Justin Thomas, let alone had the privilege of having him heckle me on any tee, but he's been around long enough and I've watched enough PGA events and interviews to recognize he's a solid guy who's well liked by other players. But 2023 was not so kind to him. And recently he shared on Instagram for everyone to see the goals that he set at the start of the year versus what happened. And what struck me wasn't his willingness to expose that he had set eight lofty goals and only accomplished one of them, partially, but the significance of the one goal he did achieve and the reality behind the many that he didn't. Because when it comes to goals, it's so easy to believe that if we train hard enough, get all the best equipment, live at the gym, and hire a sports psychologist or two, we can achieve anything we set our mind to. Even Thomas notes that he thought all the practicing he had planned would pay off. But the reality is, sometimes hard work and determination don't mean results. And if they did, there would be at least 100 PGA pros battling for first place every week. I think all of us have spent hours at the range, got lessons and watched every YouTube video we can find only to go out and play like we've never seen a golf club before. And then other times when we haven't been playing or practicing at all and go out and play out of our minds. And the opposite can be true. There seems to be no rhyme or reason. Same reason a pro can win a tournament by seven strokes and then the very next week not even make the cut. The same pro, the same work ethic, the same skill set, totally different results in a matter of days. It's a head scratcher we can all relate to in one way or the other. And though I think Justin Thomas's shortcomings in 2023 can act as a good reminder to all of us golfers that the best we can do is set our goals and do the best we can to attain them, there's even more to glean from the one goal he did accomplish. Now, before any haters, get their panties in a bunch about whether or not he should have been selected to the Ryder Cup team. That's beside the point I'm making here. And we do have time on our side to see that he was not the reason the U.S. team lost. From what I can only guess, Thomas was selected based on his past success in Ryder Cup and President Cup matches. And, and this is key, because Zach Johnson and his teammates wanted him there. And to me, that's a goal every golfer should aspire to. To have your fellow golfers want you around. I mean, golf may be an individual sport, but it's played with other people. And life's too short to play with people who make a four and a half hour round seem like dental surgery. To me, if you're the type of golfer, person, others want to have around, there's nothing higher to aim for. Of course, playing great golf and being admired isn't a bad thing, but if you're celebrating alone, well, that is a bad thing. I mean, sure, I've set lofty goals this year, lower my handicap, play 50 new golf courses, and maybe play in a tournament where I don't look like a drunken chimpanzee trying to knock a coconut out of an imaginary tree. But when I look back at the end of the year and see perhaps that maybe I didn't achieve all or any of the goals I had set, I hope at the very least I can continue to make new friendships along the way, be the type of golfer and person that others want to play with. And that will be a pretty damn good year. So thanks for the lessons, Justin. I'm sure this will be a much better year and you can heckle me anytime, even if I do have a polo sweater around my neck. And here's wishing you a successful and fun time on the course in 2024. I'd love to hear your thoughts about any or all of this in the comments below, if you're feeling up for it and have a great day, cheers.